Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse, as found in Revelation 8.13, and also known as the co-prophet of these end times. And I received a very interesting letter today from one of my subscribers who has a YouTube handle, Sayaku, and she told about a locution she received from Jesus, and she also received a miraculous photograph. And to me, it verified what I had said just a couple of days ago about the Abrahamic Accord. And she verified them in a sort of roundabout way. So let me explain. I said a couple of days ago that the Abrahamic Accord, signed by President Donald Trump and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and representatives of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates, was a fulfillment of Daniel 9, verses 26 and 27. It was a confirming of the covenant, and that is the Abrahamic covenant, where the land of Canaan would be ceded to Israel in perpetuity. And I pointed out that the false prophets for generations have been telling you that the Antichrist signs this so-called peace treaty, but that is a lie from the pits of hell. Satan does not want you to understand Daniel 9 because it is the good guy in verses 26 and 27 who confirms the covenant. In the near time, it was our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, he confirmed a different covenant. He confirmed the Messianic covenant. The bad news, as I pointed out, is that the confirming of the covenant is followed by the cutting off of the anointed one. And I believe in this case that would refer to the cutting off of Benjamin Netanyahu, which is followed by the destruction of Israel. In other words, the abomination of desolation. And the result is the Daniel 9 war, which means that Israel will be ruled by her enemies. And the reason is, because they no longer follow their own Ten Commandments. They could still repent. They have a very short time in which they could turn back to their biblical roots. In any event, after I posted that, one of my subscribers said, but won't America go to Israel's aid? In other words, can't, won't we be able to help her defeat the prince who shall come? In the near time, by the way, that was the Roman general Titus. In these end times, I suspect it's Vladimir Putin, or at least one of his protégés, maybe Erdogan from Turkey. And I answered, I says, America is going to be involved with her own destruction. And this letter, which I received from Sayaku, this uh, locution from Jesus, I believe verifies that that we will be involved with our own destruction and we will not be able to help out Israel. So let me uh, go right ahead and read this letter. And here's what she writes. Dear Mr. William, almost a week ago. Now this letter is dated uh, September 13th, which is what, four days ago. So that means she received this about uh, 10 or 11 days ago. She says, almost a week ago, I was sitting next to a window God called me to talk to him, so I lowered my phone. He tells me to look outside, so I did. Then he told me to look up at the sky, so I did. Then he told me that the view, to enjoy the view, because soon, in a few months, it will be like a battle everything in ruins. Now, Sayaku lives along the East Coast, and I don't want to give you any more information about her location because she did, got, did not give me permission to. But I'll give you a hint. I left New York to come out here to Iowa for the same reason that she is talking about. In the picture, it shows my view at that time. Then he asked me to look up at the sky for a second time since I was looking at something else. It was like, what was I supposed to see? The Lord, let me see. Lo and behold, 
that heart shape size of our sacred heart of Jesus. She saw a cloud. I'm not reading this quite right. Her handwriting is not the greatest sciatical. I asked Jesus if I can take a picture and he gave me permission. I was shocked. Let me know what you think. Thank you. God bless always. Love, Sayaku. So thank you so much for that, Sayaku. And I'm going to show you the pictures that she sent me. And now this is the first one. It's the scene outside of her window. And the cloud is at the top center. It's quite faint. It's the faint cloud. Remember, the Lord whispers. So the faint cloud in the center, it does have a heart shape. It's not really dramatically heart shaped but that is her view which I know she lives in a uh, urban area so it actually looks quite green so then she sent took a close-up picture of the heart shape and she included the sacred heart of Jesus with the picture with the photograph so you can see and I think I think that is pretty much of a heart shape it also looks something like a face in other words I think it is a dramatic confirmation of what the Lord told Sayaku about the destruction that she would look out of her window in a few minutes, months, and she would see destruction. In any event, I wanted to uh, bring that uh, message to you today. I think it was very important, and I wanted to get it out as soon as possible. And Sayaku receives quite a few visions and dreams from our Lord. And I will give you a little hint. She has already told me. She has her bug out bag ready to go at the door. And that is my recommendation to all of you also. So until the next time I see you again, may God bless all of you. And may all of you have a very blessed day.